Today it's the 4th of August and uh, it's time to do a small update uh, on what has happened since we did the dine run up at Autogruppen. Uh, we learned a few things uh, when we were up at Autogruppen before the head gasket blew. And that was that we uh, were losing a bit of uh, power on the electrical side uh, when uh, the both fans were running and all the pumps and all of that stuff. So. We actually knew that we had to upgrade the alternator to fix this. We have been looking for quite a while to find a replacement for the one we have. Uh, the one we have is a 150 amps and the new one we eventually found was a 150 amps. So hopefully this fixes our uh, current problem and uh, that's a thing of the past now. So uh, also. One of the things we actually had when we were at Hamre, uh, that we couldn't discover what it was, was that the car, uh, if we started at once, it could uh, be running really uneven, and we turn it off, start it again, and then it works fine. Uh, that actually ended up being a, uh, like cam uh, home sensor. Uh, it's the sensor that uh, gets a signal from the camshaft every two rotations, two times per rotation of the crank. And uh, after uh, doing some troubleshooting on the uh, dyno with Autogruppen, we decided on buying a new one. So now we have a new cam sensor and we also have a new alternator. So hopefully we fix those problems. Uh, of course we also had to uh, fix the head gasket, that was the main problem. And uh, that meant that we have to do this properly. I can't afford or I don't want to uh, strip down the engine again just because we had a head gasket issue. So first off we bought new uh, RP head stud uh, bolts uh, to uh, make sure we haven't stretched the old ones. We've been using them um, I think maybe one too many times so I decided on buying a new set for this one and also uh, after checking the surface of the cylinder head, we saw that the old OEM head gasket that we blew uh, had left some marks on the surface on the cylinder head. So we decided on uh, doing a new surface, resurface it at the engine shop. Uh, so we just, just got it back from them today. Today is Tuesday the 4th and we're like uh, three days out for when we're supposed to be for the event. Uh, also. We finally got our MLS get gasket uh, out from customs because it was stuck there for a long time. But now we have a 3mm gasket again and uh, we also have taken the time to drill it up and make sure that we even out the flow. Uh, this is one of the things I uh, talked about earlier in the previous episode before leaving for Wood Race. I tried to add a, uh, a small link here so you can see uh, that episode. Also, we, we bought a new uh, uh, camshaft seal, the one that sits between the lower uh, chest uh, uh, cover and the uh, above cover that covers the cam sprockets, because that had been a bit uh, worn out after all of the disassembly and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, at the same time, we're going to start it up on the oil that we have in the engine right now. Uh, run it hot and then we're gonna retorque the cylinder head and after that we're gonna change to a new batch of oil. We also decided on changing to a new dry sump belt because the old one was a bit worn so we picked up two, no, two new ones to have with spares and also we picked up some more Vaveline VR1 1060 weight to put in the engine. That's the oil we've been running for the last two years and I'm extremely happy with it so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I need to get going to make sure that we get it in time. So my plan is to get it started tonight.
Welcome back. Uh, now we're two days later. Uh, I was here Wednesday working my ass off until 2 a.m. to get the car started. We got it started and uh, uh, everything was good. So I got back here yesterday. Uh, we lifted the uh, valve cover, uh, retorqued the RP studs for the head gasket, and uh, then we prepped everything else, like filling up a diff fluid and uh, some other maintenance stuff. Uh, now we're packed in the Vito. Uh, I think we have everything with us and uh, hopefully we're gonna go have a good day because today we're going to Autogruppen and we're gonna get it tuned and hopefully we don't have any more failures so it would be good to drive tomorrow so uh, yeah let's go to Autogruppen <laughs> Well guys, that wraps up our day at Autogruppen. Uh, we ended up with 823 wheel horsepower. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to bring the dyno chart back from Autogruppen, so I will try to bring you that in the next episode. Uh, I always also want to do a shout out to Nader for always uh, making me feel safe when he's behind the computer tuning the car. 
Uh, it's uh, so important to have a guy that you can trust and you know delivers every time. Uh, as you saw in the video, we had a little bit of a problem with uh, uh, fuel pressure dropping. Uh, this we think was caused by slipping alternator belt. So this is one of the things we're going to try to fix before tomorrow's event when we head to the track. Uh, also, uh, people might think that that will hurt the engine, but actually our Amtron ECU corrects this uh, so well uh, with the fuel pressure drop correction factor. So the car is nowhere near of going uh, lean or cutting out. So. Uh, hopefully we get this problem sorted because we don't want to run this way uh, so we're going to keep an eye on that on the logging during the track day tomorrow so uh, if you have anything that i should be going deeper into regarding the dyno or the engine build or something like that let me know below and i will try to fix that for you in the next episode uh, so uh, i guess that's it for today make sure you should subscribe to the channel Share it with your friends and uh, see you next time because then we're back drifting and I'm really excited for that. So talk to you soon.